are very good as well and, and all this needs to be changed but it works okay and I've got it coupled through this belt to my electromagnet motor just got magnets all around the outside and electromagnet here um, the input down there is just a DC just a DC input it's only 12 volts at um, 800 milliamps DC goes in to here and um, the commutator changes the DC every half a turn uh, alternates the current and goes to the coils so the coils get a very slow AC every half a turn I'll connect it up I'll give it a little bit of a spin and here we are Got some sparks in Wimhurst is only going pretty slowly so you got a bit of sparking in there but it's um, not much power less than 10 watts going through the motor it runs okay as I said these capacitors aren't very good Need to change them. There's the uh, down there. Here you can see. I don't know if you can see a piece of thread here pulsing with the pulses. Here's just a um, neon bulb, and you can see it, uh, it's a pulses. Put it on the on the belt, on the wheel there. See also you get the um, pulses through the uh, electromagnet motor. Uh, back EMF pulses in there, plus a little bit of electrostatic creeping in. You can see there, split up. That's all fun. Okay, now I've just got the um, motor without a load on it. And you'll see how it increases quite rapidly. 
every half a turn or so it gets a little bit faster. And it depends how you um, set the commutator there. You can advance and retard the commutator a little bit to um, really set the uh, top speed. This commutator is not the best, obviously. Still getting faster. Probably getting near top speed now. Still getting faster. Now here I can, um, when it's going nice and fast like this, I can show you the back EMF from the coils there. See all that uh, light there is produced by the, um, the back EMF only. And you can see the uh, electrodes alternating. So you, you can harness all that energy um, through, through a back EMF circuit. That doesn't affect the um, primary function of the motor. If you use something like a um, this neon to do the switching, that's so connected straight across the input there, just there to there. Got a bit of spark in there. Could be eliminated with a better system. The rotor here it's actually got um, wind turbine magnets on it, so you put a coil there. If you put a coil, you can generate power. Just have coils around. Okay, put the coil here now. I'm going to put the coil near the motor and you'll see 50, oops, <laughs> 50 volts there, 60, 70, 75 volts, <laughs> 80, oops. 100 volts. Okay. 